Hi everyone, welcome to Back to School Night. I'm Mrs. Young and this is Algebra 2. Just a little bit about myself first. Um, this is actually my 21st year at Lourdes. In fact, I'm teaching some of my math grandkids, meaning I have taught the mom or dad, and now I have their children at Lourdes. And actually, all three of my kids graduated from Lourdes too. Let me just tell you a little bit about Algebra 2 course that your child is in. First of all, everything I'm about to share with you, it is in my syllabus. Uh, on Canvas on my website. And please, during the year, partner with me on, on Canvas with your student and, and see the assignments I post and announcements I make and everything I'm about to go over. The biggest question parents always give me on back to school night is, will there be a readings at the end of the year? No, not for this class, there won't be. We do follow the Algebra two curriculum. Why? To prepare them for college. This is an excellent course. We, we do get math strugglers in this class, but um, one reason I love teaching it is that in the beginning of the year, kids are uncertain. They feel that there's some holes missing in their math background, and we try to fill them. And I have targeted all of my lessons on building blocks that they're going to need for college. For example, very soon we're going to start factoring. And that's going to be such an important course for those who want to become a nurse, go into the medical field. I mean, they're gonna need pre-calc, they're gonna need calculus. And so that will enable them to take these courses in college. So there isn't a Regents at the end of the year, but there will be a midterm that I write and there will be a final that I write. It is considered a third year math course, which is really good for their transcripts. It's an extensive curriculum. But the nice thing about this course is I can slow down. In my Regents level and Honors level Algebra 2, I have to move at an extremely fast pace. Here I don't. We cover all the important topics and then I always build in the extra help right into the class. And that's another nice uh, feature of this class to take this course. So when I give extra help, it's during um, our first test. I'll give one or two days, depending on the need I see, of I'll do total review with them to prepare them for the first test. Parents always wanna know how I grade. I went over all this with your student. 50% for tests, 25% for homework, 20% for quizzes, and 5% for participation. The kids like how I do homework. Everyone receives 100 points. They, they love it right now because I tell them right now your average is 100. And every time they don't have homework, five points off, three points off for incomplete homework, and one point off this year for not bringing your calculator. We only use TI-84s this year. Your students know that we're already up and running and a lot of the kids have talked to me about that. I see they really want to learn. They're happy to be back. They're happy to be using paper, taking notes. I'm very organized. I give topics. I tell them what the topic is, the objective for the day, and what they're mastering for that day. Please do check my syllabus out. Everything's there of everything I just went over with you. I'm looking forward to a great year. I saw a lot of enthusiasm in your children this week. And it excites me to have them. I have these classes both in morning time and it just really sets my day off so nicely. And a few of them have already told me what areas they wanna go into and how they do need to have a good math foundation. And we are determined to let that happen. So thank you. My verse for the year that's on my bulletin board is we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. And then I added even algebra two. Thank you very much.